supposed to press the hourglass faster. Monday, baby, bear Monday. Um, sorry, this switch character, please. Okay, give me one more try. Now that I know that we got a limited supply, this is our one more try. Um, I mean, the food didn't kill us. It's just the game is just hard, man. Like it's just it's a hard challenge. You're like trying to thread this like through the eye of a freaking needle, and people are like thrown. <laughs> You, you haven't accomplished your simple task, Throne. But, uh... I, I apologize for the, the staggered bit here. Monday, Barramundi. Tuesday, Cheddar Crusted Chicken Breast with a Sweet Potato Mash. Yesterday... Blackened Salmon. With a Spring Mix and Green Apple Salad. And Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I got no idea, man. I got no... I got no clue. Beats me. It's a, it's a mystery. Demon baby, not so bad. Hello, fresh meals do be sound and tasty. I'm actually like I'm the opposite of a, of an evangelist. Uh, it's got to be done, unfortunately. Um, for Hello Fresh, if anything, I actually think when people ask me like, do you recommend Hello Fresh? My my answer is largely no. I think if you are in a very... I don't even recommend it for myself. We'll have a plebiscite at some point once we uh, get into more of a routine with the baby. Maybe get a little bit more free time where we discuss our future with HelloFresh. I don't consider it like a must-have service. The air fryer must, must own. Must own. HelloFresh, optional. The, the, the thing for me about HelloFresh is we've done a couple of times. Is that I got on the, on the show? I mean, the HelloFresh. The 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 value I want is it making life more convenient. So I I want the meals that people make fun of. I want the pre-chopped sweet potato, the diced onion, you know, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. I basically want like a protein, a starch, a vegetable, a seasoning pack, and a and a recipe. Sometimes. They'll be like, hey, you wanted this because you wanted to cook something new. And I'm like, under no circumstances. Anytime I find myself, like, the, there was a HelloFresh, I think it was Mondays, where uh, I, I spent 20 minutes just chopping stuff. And I was like, why don't I just find the recipe online and go to the damn grocery store? Like, if I'm going to be chopping my own stuff anyway, like, I might as well, you know lower the margins on the meal like it's crazy did you ever make that pizza i i think i mentioned it but like the pizza that had like the you had to knead the dough yourself and make it into like two different rectangles i i tried one of the rectangles was good the other rectangle was misshapen 10 minutes later i tried to work with them again ruined them both mashed them together thinking i could possibly uh, salvage maybe one large pizza out of it, ruined the entire dough by doing that. Just made it like so. I, I guess I overworked it. I'm not much of a baker, honestly. I don't know the science behind it, but it I, I ruined it. And I was like, dude, this is not why I'm getting Hello Fresh. Like it's it's like eleven bucks Canadian per meal per portion. Like I could buy a large pizza for that, have it delivered. And it would be more convenient. Might not be quite as tasty, but it would solve. You're like, I, I. It's an activity that you could do with your family. Like I think that there's some, there's some utility there. But like when it when you got a kid and it's like, you know, 8 p.m. on a Tuesday, you're like, I'm begging you, just like have some mercy here. See ya. Anyway, so I'm not like anti HelloFresh. It does have some value, but um, don't, 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 don't. Saved. Most of the time, it it doesn't give me what I want out of it. What I want out of it is 
more convenience and then like the the actual flavor of the meal is secondary but um, not everybody's in the same boat obviously you know the, the company seems to be doing pretty well they're, they're doing they're doing something right for the shareholders more power to them i guess but i, I think we may be reaching my personal sentiment is that we're reaching the end of the hello fresh journey for for me as a as a as the chef Do you remember the recipes enough to get value as a learning thing? I think it's kind of like a... Um, it's like a false dilemma question. Because, like, what, you don't need to remember the recipes, right? Like, you could just look up, like... Instead of getting the HelloFresh, like, salmon recipe, you could just Google, like, best salmon recipe. Come on, come on. It's just, <laughs> it's just painful. They give you ideas? I, I, do, you could just, I don't know, like, I feel like I'm, uh, maybe, I don't know why this is like soured my, my demeanor temporarily. But I'm like, you could just go to like food.com and get ideas. They're like, whoa, I never thought of having... Sweet potatoes mashed before. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> Thank you, HelloFresh. Whoa. You can caramelize onions now? Since when? Ooh. <laughs> that's, that's a dated one. Um, Give it a try, man. You never know. I, I should have known. You only get good items as the lost. Hello, sir. I don't know why I'm charging up glowing hourglass when I I don't even know if it'll work uh, in this situation, but so they've got the internet on computers now, huh? Here's an idea, lasagna, and here's another idea, my butt. What's wrong with this guy? He plays one M-rated game in the form of Resident Evil 7, and then he's like, he's going off, dude. He didn't say my butt. I censored it for him, because I don't want him to say something he regrets. They make it so you don't have to find the ingredients at the grocery store? Look, I'm... There's a level of convenience there. I think if you, like, live distant from a grocery store, maybe there's some value in not shopping. As often, at least. But, like, I'm at the grocery store, like, every day. To begin with, just because I need something to do when I'm taking the baby out for a walk. And I'm more than capable of finding the the sweet potatoes and the uh, green beans myself. That's the secondary thing. They've they've got a They've got a, a real hard on for green beans. And like I don't mind them. Don't get me wrong, but like just come on, man. Like Mix, mix it up a little bit. Like, give me some sugar snap peas now and then. But instead, they're like... Anytime I see a recipe and it's like... Quick, 15 minutes. And then this step one is like... Peel and trim all the green beans. I'm like, one of these things must be false. And dude, I'm not... That tweet that I made that went mini-viral... It went viral back in the in the Thanos days, where I said, "Hello, Fresh, be giving you two steaks that look like this," and one of them was Mike Wazowski, and the other one was Tall Guy from Monsters Inc. as played by John Goodman. Uh, John Goodman. That is definite. When they give you steaks, they give you one Mike Wazowski and one Sully. They always give you one steak that's like a tall, thin, and then they give you one steak that's like a little circle. And then they're like, cook them for the exact same amount of time. And you're like, I'm not, I'm not a scientist, but I'm not, I don't think it's going to work, man. Okay. Um, get break. Get broken. Dude, forget glowing hourglass. It's garbage. One of the best items in the game. This will work. Told you. <laughs> Almost went into the fire. 
Ey. I had a deep fried nightmare making hello fresh chickpea fritters. That's the thing, man. They get way too ambitious. Know your place, hello fresh. Why am I needing my own pizza dough? I just wanted I just wanted faster dinners on a on a weekday. They're out here like use like uh put seven tablespoons of oil in a shallow pan and arrange your chickpeas again. You're like, oh my dude, I just How how about a, apply heat to salmon? Serve with this bag of potato chips we <laughs> included. <laughs> You're flat! You got no talent. They should- that's what they need. They need like a HelloFresh for people that don't respect themselves. Incredible dodge there, I, if I do say so myself. They need a HelloFresh that is just like, Monday, here's half a jar of peanut butter. Go to town. That could depress so fresh. There you go. Wednesday, we cooked the frozen pizza at headquarters. Here's half of it. Like that, that could take off, man. Anyway, hello, fresh. If you if you wanna if you wanna talk, you know where to find me. Okie dokie. Dude, we might be able to get Glowing Hourglass when we leave. It's possible. I hate to do this. Like, I, I, I haven't had success in this game in so freaking long. <laughs> please, please. Yes! Yes! Didn't the Angel Room shut? Yeah, you, and now that I think about it, you're probably right. That's a good point. But if it didn't... Okay, Pog, Pog. Does Eden's soul give you items of the caliber of the room? Or does it just give you... Uh, it does give you items of the caliber of the room. Okay, so the, the, the dream would be taking this to the... Oh, dude, we're gonna get double charged for it. We could do it on the secret room. Okay, that's true. We could... I wonder if you could double charge it. Now that I think about it. Probably not. It's too much fun. Yeah, secret room or angel room would be the, the play, I think. I hate these enemies, man. They're like that Lady Gaga song. Rain on me. That's right, I have some contemporaneous references. I train contemporarily at 97.5 iHeartRadio FM. That's Rihanna? Wrong. It's Lady Gaga. And Ariana Grande. Lady Goo Goo Gaga? He's so cultured. He's so cultured. Insulting. Insubordinate and churlish. Okay, this is the one, man. Thoughts on the classic debate of modern art versus uh, classic art? Um, who Who is the art? Do Actually, you know what? I watched, like, a documentary about, um, Alien last night, and they were talking about this artist named, uh, Francis Bacon. I have heard of him before. I honestly thought that guy lived in, like, the 1600s. When they showed a video interview of Francis Bacon, I was like, how did they get a video of this guy in the Elizabethan era? It turns out that I was just totally wrong. And Francis Bacon is from, like, the 20th century. There's two different Francis Bacons? There's- there's a- <laughs> there's an astronomer? 
from the 1700s and then an artist from the 1900s? That's crazy, man. Did they run out of names? Well, I guess we're just gonna hold Eden Soul, man. Anyway, long story... Okay, yeah, fair enough. We don't have bombs anyway, dude. Whatever, just take me down. Anyway, long story short, like... I thought his art was pretty sick. I don't know that much about art. They were showing a lot of Francis Bacon stuff, and they were showing a lot of... Uh, H.R. Geiger stuff, because obviously is you know, it's alien. And I was like, these guys are, like, the best artists. Picasso? Get Ben. Matisse? How about you get these out of my face? Because it's trash. Give me a drawing of, like, a weird Egyptian goddess who has, like, a, a gear for a brain or something instead. That's the ticket, man. They had it all figured out. weird bit it's not a weird bit it's a real bit that i believe in dolly no thanks i'd rather honestly i get more value out of the freaking deli Ooh, you thought you had me but in all ways but the physical you never even had your car I don't. I genuinely don't know any artists. Who's the artist who did the album art for Brian Eno's album cover, Another Green World? That guy's pretty cool. But I think it's like the drawing is like not great. Like the people don't even really look like real people or whatever. But the music is really good. So I think that that gives it some credit. Yeah, man, it's Trey Parker and Matt Stone. That's what I was saying. Fantastic album. Dude, it's a great... It's a great one. Dad's lost coin. You, you spawn with minions now? Like, since when? I can't believe that this is going to be the run that's going to win easily, dude. That's so funny. Like, all those runs where we had, like, tier cap, tiers... Godhead, etc., etc., and this is going to be the one that's going to pop off. Really makes you think. Oh, okay, okay, okay. We should have used Eden Soul, but all right, I got one more in me here. Clip farming, baby. Forgot those guys shoot. Get farmed. Good item. Already got one of the best items in the game right here. Just playing solitaire by the window. Just waiting, seasons change one day. You'll see, my dreams will pull you through this garden gate. That's me singing to mom's knife. Please, no more dross. But I gotta do the whole path! <laughs> How am I supposed to do the all path if I don't go to the... How am I supposed to do the all path if I don't go to the dross, Drake? How am I supposed to do the all path if I don't go to the dross? I don't even have an all path. I don't have a key anymore! You could go down on the second floor instead. Malf, what do you think about that? Did you know that everyone's telling me, give up, give up, and I say no. People are, t are texting me saying, you don't know how much harm you're causing. That's how I know I'm doing something right. Did you know that procrastination is Latin from pro, which means for, and crastin, which means tomorrow? Learned that in, in the book I was reading last night. No, but thank you. You never know. That might come up on Jeopardy. Maybe maybe crass means tomorrow. I don't know. Something like that. You know, you could figure out the rest. You see that dodge of steel right there? 
Do more like Doge of Steel. Are you still hodling? Um, we don't even need to get into it. Um, Phil, excuse me? By, by reading, you mean listening to? Uh, somebody hasn't been keeping up with the required reading. <laughs> I now, I, I listen to audiobooks to fall asleep, but I read physical print pages before I go to bed. And then on, on walks, I listen to podcasts. I have a very particular, my, my tastes are very particular. This will give us shot speed. It's, a, it's an F, but you gotta do it. Oh, oh tears, let's go. I'm going to the alt path, okay? I'm just not, I'm not going on this floor. I'm going on the next floor. Yo, how'd you get that Peepo Diamond? I'm getting really into, like I told you I needed to find a new hobby. I'm getting real into um, the idea of like new emotes. Like just, sometimes I'll just spend like a couple hours going through uh, better Twitch TV. Write some down in this notebook I got beside me. Oh, that's a good one. Peepo G, Peepo G. Keep that in mind, remember that, Peepo G. Requesting less frog emotes. Don't make me tap the sign. Oh, no. We got one more in us. What's the sign? The sign is... Um, you don't get to suggest less of something. That's, that's not it. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we can fight. This is the run. Diamond Hands Peepo is the stock guy's emote. Okay. Could you ask him if I could borrow that loan on margin? Borrow that emote on margin, please? Tell him it, it will do more for... It. Uh, it, it might not do a lot for his uh, channel marketing, but it'll definitely do more than the miserable current 10-year uh, treasury, right? <laughs> Just two guys talking about bond yields, dude. Just talking about bond yields. I'm gonna I'm gonna lose my holy card here. Great item. I don't I don't see how we could lose here. Two great items? Less, yeah, dude, that's the problem with society. We talk too much about bond yields. Not enough about bond me, you know? Everyone's always getting all these emails. People are always like, hey, NDA, NDA, you're under NDA. Don't say that. We're going to sue you. You can't say that. You're under NDA. And I'm like, dude, why are you always talking about NDA? We could be talking about NWA instead. Makes me sick, man. Why are we talking about Jerome Powell? We could be out here talking about Jerome Bettis, former running back for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Makes me sick, man. Why are we out here talking about Janet Yellen when we could be talking about... We could be rebel Yellen like Billy Idol. Whatever happened? To predict the... <laughs> the bus. Yeah, baby. Yeah, the bus, baby. Yeah. <laughs> He's spiraling. Losing faith. Mmm, almost hit me there. You will never hit me. You're weak. You're garbage. Bro, okay, also, I wanted, I know we've been treading the same territory for quite some time. Nice try. Um, he's cracked. So I was talking about, like, 
Uncle Fester of, at many junctures throughout the past several uh, weeks, as you know. People were trying to tell me in the comments of my video that at the end of the first Adams Family movie, Uncle Fester gains the power to absorb and manipulate electricity. I have seen the first Adams Family movie 25 times. It was the first movie I ever saw in theaters. I have no recollection of this whatsoever. Is it true? No tr no clue. Thank you for your feedback. <laughs> he will join the MCU. I thought Uncle Fester was just a normal guy. Like, he's Gordon. That, that evil lady's son. And then she shaves him bald to try to trick Gomez into thinking that it's Uncle Fester so they can gain access to the Adams Family fortune. That's why Grandma's like, Fester Adams! If you, you know, but he actually turned out to be Fester? What are you talking about? He turned out to be Fester. <laughs> this glowing hourglass man shows up all the time. He was always Gomez's brother? It turned out... What's the rationale? I, I vaguely remember. Like, he had an enterograde amnesia or something like that and forgot he was an Uncle Fester, but then he was. But then it's like, it, it doesn't make any, any sense. If he was always Uncle Fester, why wasn't he bald? He forgot how to be bald? It's like he only... <laughs> Wait, but doesn't he get a head injury at the end of the Adams Family? I, I always... My interpretation, and this is maybe, I guess, a fan theory, so I apologize. My interpretation was always that Uncle Fester in the movie was just a normal guy who got sucked into this plan that his mom came up with. And then he got hit on the head and that led him to get confused to the extent where he started to believe he was the real uncle uncle fester and i thought it was like a story about like hey man family is like what you make of it you know family is where you belong not uh like who you're born with now 100 percent he knew how to do the mamushka though yeah but there's also in adam's family values like, there's some stuff that stretches the bounds of realism that you just have to accept for, uh, like, poetic license, right? Like, Gomez, literally, with one hand, Gomez picks up Uncle Fester, who's got away, like, 275 easy. He throws him up against the wall, like Prison Mike. And then, within the space of, like, one second, he throws 17 daggers at him that completely outline his body so that he gets trapped on the wall. Like, there's no way that... Like, you, you can't apply real-world constraints to the Adams Family, man. They eat poison for dinner. You see Grandma Ma cooking that cauldron up? Like... Yeah, also there's a hand that just kind of, like, chills out. They have a cousin who's literally just made of hair. And he has a child with a woman. And then the baby is just made of hair. Like... Stop this bit? It's not a bit, dude. It's important to me. I'm trying to figure out if, whether everything I knew about the 1992 Adams Family movie is a freaking lie. It's, it's a free, I've got fond memories. When thing runs at the screen. Don't hurt me, I'm Ryan. Don't hurt me. Oh, now we're talking. I thought that movie came out in the 1950s. Oh, man. 
You know what's crazy to think about? I was thinking about this the other day. Like, when you look back on history, we have the spoilers, right? Like, we know the 60s going to the 70s. The 70s go into the 80s and like, you know, so on and so forth. Speak now. Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, see you later. Forever hold your peace. We're fine. We're fine. That was good play. But like in the 1950s, they didn't know that the future would look different. There were literally people with like the crew cut hair in the 1950s that thought if when they pictured like what the year 2000. Well, we should rephrase. When they thought about what 1965 looked in their head, they pictured themselves with like a button-up shirt with short sleeves and like the horn rim glasses and a crew cut. Being like, going to work, honey, it's Dwight Eisenhower's sixth term. God bless America, right? And when we think back to like the late 1960s, we think about like the summer of love and like, you know, the Grateful Dead and stuff like that. That's hilarious, dude. Like that that guy that I just invented. <laughs> oh my god. He doesn't know how owned he is. Is all I'm trying to say. So all I'm trying to say is he doesn't know how owned he is. This is this is for real. The last one, I promise. And I, I apologize on YouTube as well. We got it. It's gotta happen at some point. Like it's we gotta we gotta win at some point. I gotta get the right episode length for a slash marker, okay? You wouldn't understand. My hypothesis is that people want me to play as different characters um, because they're jealous that I'm not upset that I keep losing. I've tried to explain many times. I, I cannot be baited into being upset. I have read Meditations by Marcus Aurelius many times. Many people are talking about it, and uh, I am just made of a superior intestinal fortitude. I cannot be tilted. YouTube's just glad you're not talking about inside baseball. And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. I did watch a little documentary about Stone Cold Steve Austin on the weekend. I forgot to mention. Um, I kind of thought that, like, okay, so Stone Cold is obviously a character that the man Steve Austin plays. What I did not know is that it's not a character and is actually, like, basically his life. Uh, like, to the extent that even when he was at, like, the height of his... Uh, fame in the WWE, my man was literally living in a double-wide mobile home. I had no idea. He was talking about the fact, he was like, yeah, so I would come home from, like, Monday Night Raw, and I would go back to my double-wide, and, like, I got a cooler full of beer, and I would just, like, slip away. And I was like, you lived in a trailer? You were, you had to be making like, like seven figures a year. You didn't think about like, even like renting or, I mean, I guess you saved a lot of money. Don't get me wrong, but. What's wrong with it? I mean, it's just, you know, you associate uh, like a mobile home as a place you, you live when you don't have other options to some extent or with a vagabond lifestyle. So Stone Cold Steve Austin, you know, you'd, you'd expect with his salary that he was, he had options. But then he just decided, like, nah, man, the trailer life is a life for me. How, how much did he make? That's, that's what I want to know. You know, hold on, okay. How much did Stone Cold Steve Austin? Austin make in WWE. Google says, well, I'm, I'm on sportskeeda.com, a reputable source. Stone Cold. The Texas Rattlesnake nearly made $12 million in 1999. Okay, that might not be salary, but still. 
I source dude just trust me, but <laughs> I mean, you selling a lot of shirts. That's all I'm trying to say. That's salary, not net worth. Dude, I love the celebrity net worth. It's always, like, so true. The donkey, donkey, dunk. Comments on your own? Nope. <laughs> That's for me to know and you to hopefully never find out. Internet says two milli. Um, the the internet should learn to factor in uh, the outstanding balance of my mortgage. We'll be sitting at a at a very different number. Also, the internet doesn't know that I hold four trillion ship coin right now. Hmm. Yes. I mean, we'll take it for now. I mean that that's insanely good. Nobody, nobody tell them. Nobody tell them. They'll nerf it. It's an ill-gotten gain. It's stolen valor. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. Don't tell them. You also own, like, all the egg coin? Yeah, but I lost, like, my egg coin wallet. I don't know. I, it was on my old hard drive that I took to, like, a computer shredder. So I'm, like, uh... All, all my egg coin is gone. It's sad. I gotta do Dan's Indiana Jones idea. Chip coins in the negative right now, dude. That would that could be a great meme. Imagine if a crypto could go to uh, below zero, like it hits zero and people are like, oh, and then it hits like negative five cents and people are like, oh. <laughs> oh no, I got. I've got twelve quadrillion booba, dude. It's one cent a piece. I owe Coinbase uh, $1.6 billion. I'm nothing. I don't respect the foundation. You, 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 the end scene. Donkey. It didn't charge. Um, hello? Dang, dang. Hedge funds. Most manipulated coin on the market right now it doesn't want evil hearts it only wants spirit hearts oh that okay that makes sense I'm mad but it makes sense owned donkey don spirit heart please for a dollar give me a spirit heart holy card dude forget your garbage everyone point and laugh at this Everyone point and laugh at Dreamcatcher. Ha 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 You stink! Yeah, you, okay, good point. Let's go. I'm losing it. We're going to win this run. Get ready, okay? Balls of steel. Balls of steel. Whatever. Balls of steel. I'm going to become the Joker. Um, balls of steel. If only. Balls of steel? It's not so bad. Our tears were already garbage. Um, hundred percent devil deal chance. Okay, don't go into the devil deal chance. Just give it a just give it a minute here. Just gotta just let me think for a second. It's not exactly in my Q zone, is it? Two of spades, big place. Two of spades, big place. Two of, two of spades, big place. That one's for the audio only crowd. Uh, no, there's still plays. There's still plays to be done here. You 
grab alabaster box. They, see, the problem for me here is like I want to not lose the urn for no reason. Like I want alabaster box to pay out and then take the urn with me. Because our damage is kind of garbage. But for now, we can at least go in here, bomb it, get four spirit hearts? No sp uh, twos. We're one spirit heart away. Now I, I you, you've turned me into Dan. I'm like I gotta, I gotta figure it out. The poops could give you spirit hearts. Oh, it's true. It's a low percentage, but. Dude, I gotta be honest, I think we take Alabaster Box with us. I think we take Dreamcatcher, Alabaster Box. Yeah. Psych, now use those poop coins to buy Dreamcatcher. Yes. Liquidate all of my shit coin, put it into Dreamcatcher. There's a chance. There's a chance. <laughs> Please. Please. Minus two for handphone. All oh, right, sorry, I forgot. You gotta, if you're a zoomer, you gotta be, you, got, you do that, right? Yeah, you can't use batteries with, um, with the alabaster box, unfortunately. I wish I wish you could. So I think we're gonna roll the the much vaunted Dreamcatcher Alabaster box combo, and we're gonna leave behind one of the greatest items you could ever ask for. We'll we'll look in the all we gotta take that obviously. We'll look in the all path for blue fires. We out, man. We out. It is what it is. It is what it is. And we we tried our darndest, man. When you when you try so hard and you don't succeed. Ah! No! 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 Okay, hold on. You skipped the dream catcher. That's because I knew we were getting a good item. I didn't even want to come in here, dude. I should have... We could have just... Could have popped on Define and gotten the heck out of town. Tricked ya. Made you look. Made you mad. Haha, <laughs> I win. I made you mad. I... I dare... I'm, I'm being completely silent. I don't want comedic timing. I want to win. Silence. If we don't talk, we can't we can't be owned. We can't be owned. We can't lose. I that would have been comedic timing if I said we can't lose. They would have they would have dunked on me. See, I I can't say anything these days, dude. I'm always like, uh, you should eat like five to ten servings of fruits and vegetables daily. People are like, shut up! Cancelled. And I'm like, oh, come on now. You all laughed at me. Well, nobody's laughing now. Nobody's laughing now. When I told my friends I wanted to play as Tainted Lost, they all laughed at me. Well, nobody's laughing now. You disgust me, Murray. We desperately need tears upgrades. That's that's a given. Tears for fears. I fe I got the fears. We're not gonna get any more tears.
Can't wait for him to die on minecart boss. No, I recently got diamond armor. I will not be killed by the minecart boss again. <laughs> what happened to the holy card? Oh no, who's gonna tell him? I had to use it because I got hit by a garbage enemy. No talking! This is a non-talk boss. Now we may discuss things again. Dude, tears up or tear size up? I'm for it, man. Uh, don't forget the knife piece, though. Don't you're gonna do this, but don't forget the knife piece. And don't skip this time. No more skipping cutscenes into thinking they're stars. Foo. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, these freaking shots. Dude, the holy light big eyeball tier is incredible. Controversial, controversial opinion, this is a good run. Yeah, don't let uh, uh, someone hear you say that. They'll probably freaking get you fired or something. I don't even know how they work. Oh, it's because of holy light plus perfection. Yeah, it's not one though. It's not one yet. An end. Yeah, Chib. Chib knows what's up. Chib is my Gen Z ally. I know that I'm ancient, like I'm old as dirt. Like I was born when Friends was still on the air. But Chib will will help me in the Gen Z culture wars. When when my generation loses because we don't want to adult anymore, he'll get me a job. In Gen Z, I could be like some kind of court jester. Or people could just, I don't know, come and like kick me in the testicles or something like that. Any Anything, really. I'll do anything, man. Very noble of you. Thank you. Thank I try to help. I just want to be of service. I just want to be of utility. Donkey, donkey, donk. Uh, moving on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't skip. No skip. No skip. I like the way you're viewing it. No skipping it. We're about to look it up. I don't know what either. I think one of those was Explosivo. I have no idea what the other item was. They were. It was Dead Tooth, Tammy's Head. Halitosis or brimstone bombs. No, nobody knows, but we can all agree they're not that good. Although brimstone bombs would be kind of, kind of sick. That's a skip. That's a skip in my world. Soul of Jacob and Esau, aka Soul of it doesn't do anything at all. Holy card, please. This is the fourth floor, which means we will get an item here. Incredible. Tammy's head would be absurd. Yo, but was it Tammy's head? Cause like I'm I'm look I'm thinking back in my brain, right? And I'm like, it looked it kinda had like a, a cat's head on it, no question. The, the, it, it had the visage of, that was feline in nature. It, it definitely wasn't. Not at all. Okay, never mind then. You know what? I'm, I'm definitely going though, just because I'm scared. Like, I, I just... I, I, I genuinely didn't feel like I was going to get out of that room without losing my holy card. The other one was... Well, the other one was Explosivo. We do not want it. It could kill us. Alright. Good to know. Hello. Oh, yeah. Hey, check it out. <laughs> wow. The jungle outfit. Yo, baby, you're kind of looking like um, 
the album cover of Brian Eno's landmark classic, Another Green World. Yeah! Yeah, what, don't forget about Mommy's outfit, too. Oh, just just something I threw on. Yeah. The Bugatti shirt? <laughs> just, oh, these? These old things? The Louboutins? The Bugatti shirt? I bet no one heard of it. I'm the, I'm the first one to have one, something like this. Uh. A Gooby shirt? That's right. Please, I need holy light. So you're saying there's a chance. Kate, Chib has a meme I think you would like. Yeah. It's it's a meme of um so I think it's a like an Instagram AMA. Okay. And uh the question on the AMA is where'd you get your Chanel bag? Yeah. And then the lady goes. It's from Chanel. I think maybe you might you might enjoy that meme. I don't know. We gotta give this a try. Crash inducing item. Um, it's Pog. Oh, did you see the screen flicker? We gotta get out of here, man. Mm, lucky Penny. Look at the Penny smile. It gets so bright. It's gonna crash <laughs> for sure. Yeah, but I can create heaven. Show me, show me, show me how you do that trick. The one that makes me pog, she said. The one that makes me sad, she said. Put your sub around my stream. Show me how you do it. And I promise you, I promise you, I'll pog away with you. You know that song, Kate? I'll pog away with you. No. All right. Well, it's a good song. It's called. <laughs> it's called "Just Like Heaven." It's by The Cure. It's like Cure. The Cure. They feed us poison and then sell us the medicine. You know what I'm saying? We gotta get out of here, man. We gotta get out of here. It's gonna break. It's gonna break. Bloody Lust was in the item room. Dude, I legitimately was not even looking at the screen. <laughs> Mini Mush and Lusty Blood. So Lusty Blood is the... The more enemies you kill on a floor, the more damage you get, right? The more enemies you kill per room, the more damage you get. Okay, see you soon, baby. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Dude, thank God we don't have to do boss rush. Can you imagine? One of the few enemies that could harm me. Okay, this is very strong. It's all it is definitely lag in the game too. It is there is no question there. The game definitely do be lagging. But I've never felt so powerful. Just like a, a single press of the button, it kills everything. Like one tier kills everything. You know what we need? Shielded tears. Shielded tears, man. Shielded Tears will win us the run. Diplopia? Chibli, are you still here? Hello. I just want... It. It's just comforting, you know? I don't have anything to say. It's just... Uh, just comforting to know you're around. Don't shoot yet, man. Oh, you gotta. <laughs> I don't know if the game will survive this room. 
It's it's got like two FPS, man. Oh, 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 no, no, no. A little speed upgrade, that'll help. Okay, we didn't get a deal with the devil. I will be leaving now. RTX on. I told you, I told you one more run and I'm gonna be okay. Don't touch me, mother fricker. Everybody betray me. I'm fed up with this world. Dude, honestly, I know we I've talked about this before. Two most shocking moments in cinema history. One of them is when Caesar the ape says no. No, I, I wouldn't dare. When when after a whole movie of him just being like a an ape, when he goes no, you're like oh what? Um, I think I scared the baby. I'm sorry, baby. The other scary moment in, in cinema history is when, um, after being the nicest guy on Earth for all of the, the movie The Room, Johnny, aka Tommy Wiseau, is in his room, and then his wife knocks on the door and says, Johnny, come out. And he says, in a minute, bitch. You go, woo. <laughs> Because, you know, there's nothing scarier than when a nice guy gets twisted. Did you say that, though? I go inside at 645. She's stepping out the damn shower like, can I help you? No mimics. No mimics, baby. <laughs> Focus. No mimics. That wasn't even a real fool card, so I'm not sweating it. That one was like, not even supposed to be around in the area. Double hanged man, Pog. Okay, don't don't touch that man. What what the heck am I doing with the plopia? What the heck is that that's going on out there? I'm so freaking fast. Diplo a holy card. You genius. You mad genius. Okay, don't skip. Don't. Oh, we gotta. Don't skip. Don't skip. Don't skip. Don't skip. Don't skip. Don't skip. We open the room. We get lemon pitcher and flush. The thing is. The Lost only gets good items, so I'm a little surprised to see that there's a bunch of garbage there. But we don't do that. These rooms are now too much of a risk. That scared the crap out of me, man. Holy card. <laughs> Shop? Shop's not that far away. We can make it, man. Take it nice and slow. Dip it low, pick it up slow. You guys remember Christina, Christina Million? <laughs> no? All right, all right. Apparently there was a bomb in there somewhere. Steam cell? This run's got me a little stressed. Don't stress, I got gotcha. you. Don't even sweat it, man. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Go ahead, clip it. Sends a chill up your spine when a nice guy turns evil. Slash Mark or Christina. 
million. All right. 